Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back yet again testing another Rue Cosmetics palette and this time around I'm going to test the City of Dreamy Lights. So the concept of this is meant to look like a game CD packaging and then we presented with some pastel goodness. I feel like I've been doing a lot of pastel looks at the minute. Not only that, I did go ahead and buy some other things. This is the P. Louise Highlighter box wherever you want to call it i've had my eye on this for ages it is beautiful and along with that i also got the blush as well these i didn't expect it to be this big i'm just like whoa it's packaging man <laughs> where i'm gonna put it but yeah i cannot wait to test those i do also have a rude cosmetics testing series playlist at the minute so i'll try to link that down below for remember but yeah i've got a bunch of whole stuff in there at the minute there's just loads of manga palettes in there so yeah i'm just working my way through it but yeah, that's my video today. I hope you enjoy and yeah, without further ado, let's go. I've just gone in with my Beauty Bay Eye Base. I'm also just gonna use my Revolution Batman Lip Gloss just to moisturize my lips. I've been having a little obsession with this lately. So yeah, let's get onto the eyeshadow. So yeah, that just looks like it's meant to say Xbox or something, so as you can see, it does look like a video game style packaging. Um, you've got the swatches at the back. It looks like Sim City or something. <laughs> Let's start off. I'm going to go with this pink. This is called Power Up. So we do have seven mattes in here and we have eight shimmers to play with. So Power Up is this really pastel pink and let's just go in. I was hoping it was going to show a bit more than that but let's just see very very light pastel and the next shade I'm going to go into is game over so this purple and I'm just gonna gradient this into the pink yeah these pastels are pigmented actually to be fair I was a bit too judgy on the pink one they look lovely together but as you can see the purple is probably more pigmented than the pink. The pink is very light and you will need to build that up. Next shade I'm gonna go into Respawn. Yeah, these shade names are very game-like. We've got Power Up, Gold Coin, Game Over, Combo, Next Level, you get the gist. I'm just gonna put the blue up here. Like, pastels are just so easy to blend. They just blend on their own without any hassle. And the next shade, I'm going to go into a green and we're going to use Combo, which is this minty green. I'm just going to go with the same brush at this point. That is very minty. They're quite full out of these shades. They are dispersing everywhere. Uh, maybe go in with a smaller brush with this, but I'm too lazy for that. And they do require building on top of each other just because if you blend too much these will disappear so it is a case of doing that just building all the shades up pretty much done with this part i am going to cut the crease because i do want to use some shimmers i'm thinking of going into blue light so this looks interesting like really icy if this i'm just going to go in my p louise room 02 base and i'm just going to take a really flat brush Okay, I'm just coming to terms that this is not even whatsoever. I'm gonna go into this pink shimmer. So this is called To Be Continued. It's got a bit of golden. So I'm gonna put that just where we've got the pink. It's very pretty on the brush. I have not swatched this yet, so I have no idea what it's gonna be like. Ooh. It's very glowy. Next shade I'm gonna go into is Rookie. So when I swatch this, it's like, it's quite lavender with a hint of gold, so I'm going to put that next to the pink. That's nice. And then for the blue, I'm going to go into Winning Streak and just pop that in the middle. This one's very icy. Oh my god, this is so icy. And then we do have a secret level, which is this green. Oh my god, that's... I might put that in the inner corner. That looks like, that looks something else that does. Ooh. Really brightens the inner corner that does. Now I did say I want to go into bright light somewhere, this white. I may just lay on top of it on the inner corner. 
And I'm also gonna put it on the brow bone as well. This one's a bit crumbly. I am gonna put a bit in the inner corner as well. Yeah, this one's quite crumbly, full outy, bright light shade, but this looks really fun. So with the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into virtual. We haven't used this. And I'm just gonna put that in the inner corner. If it shows up, this is a bit hard to see this one. Yeah, I just wish that was a bit more pigmented. It's not really doing much for me. So I'm gonna go with Checkpoint, this lemon shade. Yeah, these shades, Virtual and Checkpoint are a bit too light for me, I would say. So I'm gonna go into Combo, which is a bit better for me. More minty. Yeah, that's more easier to see. And then I'm just gonna finish it up with the pink on the outer corner and the purple. I am just gonna add some lashes. I'm just gonna use my Shein lashes. I'm on my last pair, I didn't make an order. But I'm just gonna do some primer. This is the Jeffree Star Cotton Candy Foaming Makeup Primer. Love this stuff. It is easier to just wipe your hands together and apply it that way if you don't want to deal with the foaminess. Okay, I've just done my foundation. I did use the Pretty Little Thing Natural Foundation shade Golden Beige. Then I used the L'Oreal Matte Cover in the shade True Beige. For my concealer, I did go with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer shade 5. And then I did a tiny bit of contour. You're not really going to notice. But if you're wondering, I did use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour in shade Fair Light. Now, time for this blush. This is the P. Louise. My first blush the blusher palette. Oh this, oh, this excites me. This does. Like, look how pretty this is. Oh, that shade reminds me of um, Cold Heart by Mabel Mitchell. And a bit of this as well. Oh my gosh, I'm stunning. I think I'm going to go to this one. The pans are so cute. This one says, everything is better with you. Look how adorable these pans are. Stunning. So yeah, I'm going to go with this one. I might mix some as well. Let's just see. It's all got the sticky label on. I don't know how pigmented these are, pigmented these are, but we'll see. <gasps> I like it. I literally feel like a doll wearing this blush. Ah, it's so nice, it's not too pigmented, so you can really build it up to whatever desired pigment you want. Oh my god, I really like that. I'm gonna tap into this like once. Oh my god, I love it, love it! I've been really into my liquid blushes at the minute, but having a matte blush is just a nice change up. Right, I, I need to calm down and I can't. Ah! Right, so that is the blush. I'm gonna spray myself and then we can get onto the highlighter. So I'm gonna use the iHeart Revolution Watermelon Glow Fixing Spray. I haven't even powdered. Only because I'm just feeling a bit dry at the minute. Um, so I try not to powder when I don't need it. I may need it after that spray though. Time for what I've been excited about and what I've been wanting for a while. This is her highlighter palette, the CEO, the CEO Everyday Mood oh, highlighter palette. If you know me, you know I'll go into this one straight away. This is what got my attention, this shade. <sighs> if your dreams don't scare you, they are too small. This shade in particular. Oh, I love pinky highlighters, so I'm definitely going into that. Love. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Now that is a highlighter. Mm, I've been trying quite a few highlighters. I've been really liking it. Maybe the Made by Mitchell candy trip, but this, if I wanted more of a, oh my God, that's so shiny. Absolutely love and the aesthetic, the cuteness. Because I'm very glowy here, I am going to powder a bit. I'm just gonna use my Primark I Heart Revolution Coconut Baking Powder. I just wanna go ever so slightly, just touch up here, just cause I'm a bit wet looking, on not I? You know what, I've been really liking this powder. I've been 
loving it i've been really liking this lipstick i take it to work but i also like it especially with light pastel eyeshadow looks um i just prefer a pinky tone lipstick with this type of eye look and we're pretty much done so here's the complete look using the Rue Cosmetics City of Dreamy Lights. Love this look. I just love pastels. I'm gonna admit it's not my favorite pastel today. And I believe some of the Rue Cosmetics manga, mini manga palettes have better shimmers in there and probably more pinkish pastels. But this is still a nice palette and you can still create really pretty looks. Like I absolutely love this. I'm happy to go out like this. I'm a bit disappointed in the virtual shade in the checkpoint shade. I think it's a bit too light for me. I have tried another eyeshadow palettes pigmented pastel green shades these ones are just too light for me the minty shade however is lovely the bright lights is a stunning inner corner highlight however it is crumbly it's on the crumbly side the power up shade this pink i was hoping it was going to be more pigmented it may be a bit too light for me but it still works really nice um, I mean you can still see it so yeah it's just a bit on the dusty side for me that is I feel like the purple works great the game over shade the respawn shade works great the shimmers that I really do like is a winning streak I really like this this pink to be continued shimmer is absolutely stunning especially on the power up shade it just helps out the shade a bit by adding that shimmer on top it just don't know, it just made it pop a bit more. Uh, Secret Level is real, also really nice. Um, I have not tried that shade yet or that peachy one underneath, but I have tried most of the majority shades in here and I can say it's an okay palette. I feel like these have stolen the show. I am a bit biased. I do, I just love highlighters. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be hard to not like a highlighter for me because I just, every time I try a highlighter, I like it. But for this blush, it is a nice switch up because, you know, loads of products are so glowy these days, but it's such a nice to switch up to a matte for once. Um, I really like this because it's very buildable. It's not super pigmented, bam in your face. I could easily apply some more right now. I feel like I don't have enough on. Like I said, you can really build it up. And I, sometimes I like that in a product. Like I don't like it, bam. It's less blending work for me, but yeah. Oh my God, I just can't stop. I can tell all these highlighters gonna perform equally as good with each other but this pink one really stood out for me i just I'm, i am biased when it comes to pink highlighters i just love them absolutely love this i feel like this is going to be the highlight <laughs> mind the pun but highlight of the video because i've been wanting this for a while and i'm so happy that i liked it and again i love this revolution fortnight lipstick cuddle team leader but yeah i'm gonna go now that's my video i hope you enjoyed it do let me know your thoughts on this palette have you tried it but yeah i've got a lot more Rue cosmetics to try so do keep your eyes peeled for that so make sure you hit subscribe button down below so you don't miss out but yeah i'm off i hope you have a lovely day now every time watching this and i shall see you in the next one bye